Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Dark Glass. Um, I'm going to show everybody how to do a character in Fantasy Grounds um, from start to finish. First step is when you pull up your account um, or when you pull up your application, make sure you load up your modules and make sure you have everything loaded that you have. Uh, I've purchased the basic rules, um, a bunch of the Wizards of Coast stuff, D&D rules, all that stuff. Um, make sure you load it so to load it you just click the load button here it's not there right now but you can simply just click a simple button and it'll load it for you it may take a second once you're done just exit out uh, by loading it, it means you have everything available see everything here load pogs if you want to I don't need to worry about any kind of options right now. We're just creating a character. So we pull up characters. I got a bunch of them here. I made a character template just for the sake of making them for a cam uh, beginner campaign I was running. So we're going to do is we're going to start out with a blank slate. So we're going to decide to make a sorcerer today. Never made one, so hey, why not? So what I do is I first go to my library. I open up two tabs or three tabs actually. Backgrounds. We'll open that up for later. We need the items tab. Actually, there's a lot more than three. All right. We'll need classes, and we'll need races. That's just to get started. We're doing a sorcerer, so we're gonna worry about magic as well. So I'll open spells. So get started, and I do recommend anybody who purchases or is playing this get the player's handbook at least for it, because it's a lot easier. It has all the rules in there, and as opposed to missing some of the rules for what we have as far as characters. Uh, let's see, sorcerer, cool player's handbook. It pulls up a lot of details. You can pull up an image of a sorcerer. It looks magnificent. Alright, gives a brief description All that raw magic, how to cast your spells, uh, no use for spell books, ancient tomes, magic lore, da da da. Basically, they're natural. Don't need any wizardry here. Suggest a background of Hermit. It gives you a brief description and a quick build section here, which is really quite helpful if you've never done it before. Uh, this quick build gives you great ideas. Uh, let's see. So we're going to use a four d six. Subtract the uh, top one. So the way I do that is I choose a roll four option. Just track what I did. So I have one, two, two, three. That's an eight. We subtract one, so this is seven. So I have seven. Go ahead and mark it. We may mulligan this guy. <laughs> Nine. Well, let's add, see if that works. Eleven. And all I'm doing is I'm right down here, keeping track of what I rolled. That's going to be eleven as well. Ooh, wait, this guy has some bad stats. This is not super important. Seeing that I can throw this guy in the trash tomorrow. Ooh, buddy. And that is exactly where he's going. If I was playing if I was a DM in this campaign, I'd say go ahead and re-roll your character. See his minimum of bonuses. As a matter of fact, that's what we're gonna do. That's a lot better. 16, so we have 14 because it's 2662. You discard the highest. That's a lot better. This guy is doing than what we had before for sure. 11, 12, 13, 14, no, 14. Just had to wait for the dice to roll up, roll, uh, warm up a little bit apparently. Alright, so. 8, 12. Uh, 
is a 10. Pretty pathetic roll, but hey, I'm thinking it's a 16. And this is 17. That's a pretty fantastic roll. Five plus five plus six plus six is 17. All right. So now I got it. So we follow the instructions here. First charisma should be your highest ability score, followed by constitution. All right. So that's charisma first. All right, and that's my 17, followed by constitution. The reason they do that is because in D and D you want your wizards to have or your warlocks, your spellcasters, a little bit of hit points because they are the softest class of the game. Okay, I'm not worried about strength of this character, so I'll leave that at a ten. We've used our seventeen and our sixteen and our ten. I'll give him a fourteen dex because it gives him a little bit of save more than what he'd have normally. Or used to at least. 14 and we'll do 12 here and then 14 here. I've expended all my rolls of my mulligan roll. All right. And we don't necessarily need to give him a name yet. It's a, it's a deal. We're going to go ahead and stick with the background hermit. But to go ahead and show you how to pick one, you can go through here, select one. We're going to select the hermit here. So open it up. You go background here. You can just follow through what it is. Gives you image. That's a pretty rich looking hermit, let me tell you. And then we go to table. Hermit life of seclusion. You can actually just grab this. Retreat from society of the life altering, altering events. So where we put that is notes. You go down here to notes and I retreated. All right, done. All right. Oops, there we go. So it's medicine and religion. So what happens is by dragging the hermit into this character, you have to do it on the page. So on this main tab, you drag him in, and it automatically applies it. So he has already medicine and religion. We don't need to worry about that. I give him the item, the herbalism kit. See it's there. This is why I suggest you get the player's handbook because you can do that. To add an item, no, I just could duplicate one. It's easy to do. Just simply disregard it. To little item, you can go to this inventory tab right here and just drag it over and drop it. That easy. I don't care about that. There we go. Player's handbook. There we go. Herbalism kit. Okay. Language is one of your choice. So you get some bonus language. We haven't decided what race we're yet, but uh, we'll figure that out quickly. A scroll stuffed, a scroll case stuffed full of notes from your studies or prayers. Sometimes it doesn't happen, have it, so then what you do is you just simply item there we go created and winter blanket oh, and that's why I probably wasn't pulling up You just gotta improvise. You can always just add it if you want to. It's a little bit of magic. Alright. Common clothes. 
five gold points. Would capitalize it, but it has an issue right now with you know, the G's. The quick button if you don't push the if you push the wrong one. All right. Clothes. Common clothes. Doesn't matter which one I grab. It's just one of them. We got that. We have a lot in language, so we don't have we haven't selected it yet, but it's right here. We'll save that for a minute. Features discovery and it automatically loads all these skills here. So discovery is right here. Herbalism kit, got it. I'm proficient with it. You choose a language of my choice. When you type in your language, make sure it matches one of these languages here specifically. And the reason you do that is because when you type in it, it said Elvish on there, I could type in Elvish and it would type out and anybody who could read Elvish could read it, but anybody who cannot does not. So here's the characteristics, lots of fun stuff. So we go to this other fun place here on the notes table, personality traits, roll it. So we've got a hermit that rarely speaks. Yeah, I don't like that one. It's not very creative. All right. And personality traits do not matter. Just how you want to role play. Oblivious to social etiquette. So close that one out, pull up the next section here. Hermit Ideal. Roll D6. Five. He's not a medallary. Bond three. This is his mission for life, essentially. He's in search of enlightenment. The enlightenment. Something that your character does that's kind of annoying. Ooh, I like this. So I harbor dark, bloodthirsty thoughts that my isolation and medita meditation fear to quell. I fail to quell. So can I just turn that in? Let's see if that's easier. Ah, oh, I learned something new today, guys. You can just drag it in, drop it. It's great. All right. So we're dealing with a hermit. It's kind of crazy. That crazy old man. We're making my sorcerer, but first we want to choose our race. So going through our cheat build, our cheat sheet here. Um, charisma's highest ability, da da. So we want to choose something that's good in charisma. That's our primary goal. Um, about gnome let's see so we're going here we choose the gnome from the D&D player's handbook it's also in the SRD data they're the same thing just this gives you a lot less details this gives you a whole description of it so check it out and Chelsea's score increases by six or side by two not that important for me so I won't do that one
the Dragonborns aren't going to be the what we look for, but not be entertaining. That's it, we're doing a half elf. So we're going to do the half elf. So what we do is we drag it in. Pull it from the hand, the player's handbook. However, you can pull it in from um, the SRD, which is, it all starts with the SRD, which is just a simplified version. Doesn't give all the niceties on there. Two skills from below. Now we already had couple given in so I think Arcana should be important and then we choose well, let's see insight maybe or investigation those, those are always great perception he's a hermit he's very perceptive let's say that very old man he's very wise perceptive is his thing I increase our con or sorry our charisma by two. So we get two more. Constitution's a good choice. Let's see where are we sitting at. You know, it's not too much. It doesn't matter too much either way. So with um Wisdom and Constitution. This is a point away, so if we ever want to bounce up it pretty easy all right pretty happy with what we got so far as you can see go to the skills tab it's already updated there's not the skills the abilities it's already given us everything we have here so I already know common elvish I have two two languages my choice so we will choose Celestial. You know, make sure you compare it because if it's exact, it's good. Celestial. And then we want to do. Well, let's see. Maybe he knows. Maybe he knows Dragon. Draconic. So we'll delete that. Make sure it matches. Draconic. Draconic. That's great. Okay. So we've got everything there. Abilities are set up. It's all done. This takes a lot of time in uh, just regular games. Let's see. So we know. At level 1, there's 4 cantrips. Efficiency bonus. Get some more spells on there. Just not pulling the whole table up. There we go. So there's two first level spells, two cantrips is what he uses. And there we go. So then we should go to down here. So I got everything included. Tells you what weapons you're gonna have. Let's see, we have saving throws, constitution, and charisma, and skills. Choose from arcana, deception, insight, intimidation, persuasion, and religion. Okay, so we already did that. So now we just gear him out. So make sure I dragged it in. Oops. I'm slacking here, guys. I apologize. Half elf, and I need to drag sorcerer in from the player's handbook. There we go. Let's see. This way, I added this.
If you ever have a question, you can always pull it up. So you do oh, a storm sorcery. Looks pretty epic right there. So drag that in. Or not drag it in, but select it. There we go. Alright, like it so far. Kind of started to build a story about this guy. He's a hermit looking for wisdom, has some powers of his spells. All that beautiful stuff. Storm sorcery, all this stuff's added. Sorcerer's origin. Storm sorcery. And it gives you a description of what happens. He's a wind speaker at level one. To get additional language, so he knows four languages. Pretty wise guy. All right, let's see. We got everything done. The only thing we really have to do now is try his inventory for him. Light crossbow. So all I do here is type in here crossbow. Knowing from experience that type in light crossbow and it's gonna not gonna work. And this should pull it right back up. Right, player's handbook. Make sure you're in the inventory tab because you're going to be confused as why it doesn't work. Alright. Then bolts, he gets 20. There's a list 20 here, so you do that. Plug that in. Component, parch, component, no, component pouch or arcane focus. So do arcane focus. I tell you, it's not on the list, so you gotta write it in. Okay, Dungeoneer's Pack or Explorer's Pack. So if you wanna know which one's better for your character, type it in. Dungeoneer's. So pull it up. Do player's handbook. I don't know about the rest, but it tells you what you got. Crowbar, hammer, ten batons, ten torches, tinder box, ten days of ration, water skin. He's an athletic climbing guy. I don't know if I like that one. It has rope. It's pretty much general. So then we got explorer's pack, which is one of the more basic ones. Backpack, bedroll, mess kit, tinder box, ten torches, ten days of rations, and water skin. 50 feet of hempen rope attached to the side of it. I'm going to choose that one. Oh, there we go. And as you can see, it just added all of that stuff there. And two daggers. Every freaking class gets two daggers. Real skill is magic. He's not much of a fighter. As you can see, I chose one that's not listed here. I chose the um, Sorcerer's in Image Storm Sorcery because it's in the player's handbook. Not all the stuff that's in the player's handbook is in here. So if you have a player's handbook, this is. Um, it's well worth spending an extra 29 bucks to get it added on or just buy the kit with all of it in there all right, we're done with items he's got his items he's got a lot of spells and last thing we're looking for is the um, races spells. 
So I actually need to pull him back up. If I can go level zero. I can choose sorcerers, so source. Got a sorcerer. Pulls up his options for level zero, that is cantrips, spells. this out this is cantrip so he knows two spells I just say four anyways he knows two cantrips initially so we go to cantrips it's level zero spells just choose ones that are fun or useful to use. He has two to select from, so we'll go with um I like at least one one good attack spell, so Ray of Frost for his hand book. Fridge of being white light streaks towards a creature within range. Make his range spell attack against the target. D8 cold damage and its speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of your next turn. It increases by 1d8 when you reach 5th level. Pretty powerful spell. So we'll go ahead and go with that one. A Ray of Frost. We add that to the Actions tab actually. And you can pull it out for later use if you would like to use it in a game there because it's a cantrip you have infinite of them and then Gus is kind of cool because of his personality kind of pa -ha! poof pushes him away um, control flames create bonfire Blade Ward, Chill Touch. Uh, let's see. I think Gust is going to be a fun one just because it's a roleplay element. Uh, but it's Xanthar's. We'll go stick with, uh, for this case, the um, Player's Handbook. So chill Touch sounds like the next one. Skillful hand, firebolt, you know what, we're going with firebolt, why, because who doesn't like a warlock or wizard or sorcerer has that, and level one, as per our chart here you can see that he has two first level spells. Uh, Spell slots per no, uh, known. I believe that's actually supposed to be four can uh, four spells known. I'll double check that in the book. I'm gonna go with some pretty easy ones here. I'm gonna stick with our guy. He's a rough and tumble kind of a mage. Must do mage armor. Thirteen plus his dexterity armor or modifier. So for his case, he casts mage armor. He's thirteen plus two, which is actually really good. Uh, magic missiles are classic, but in sticking with this guy, I want thunder wave. Why? Because it's a murderous cube of primal energy coming at somebody. Our two spells, Mage Armor, gives AC plus three, so that means it's 13 for eight hours, and then Thunder Wave. 
We have this guy mostly done. Okay. I want to re-verify real quick. Also why it's good to have the books, because it teaches you everything you need. Regarding the book, regarding the asked the characters. I think it says cantrips, I think that's possibly four, but I'm just double checking it. Sorcerer. Uh, he knows four cantrips at first level. And knows two spells. Okay, that's what that means. So we got a lot more fun with the cantrips here. So level zero spells go back. I'll have to select for so many things here. Nasty likes a lot of fun. We've already chose the bolt and. light <coughs> I choose mending always because that's a good role play spell <coughs> it helps a lot in fixing things alright I'm content with that selection of spells you got his first level spells and then if you're playing the game and you want to know what they are just click the box, pulls it up. When you're playing the game with this app specifically, you can do that. Um, all right, well, last thing: finishing touches. Always well, nice to have some finishing touches. So he's an older gentleman, uh, older half elf. Let's say. We'll tab for half elves here. It may even have player's handbook because it gives you more details. Age. So humans. Which is a whole bad age of 20. They live much longer than humans, however, often exceeding 180 years. So we're doing a male. We'll give him. Um, do a D100. And the way you do that, select the D10, choose the percentile, just roll it. I don't like 26. It doesn't fit my old grumpy dude, but hey, 26 works. Probably you, I didn't roll it in the cart, so you would normally do this. It stays in there. It'll tell you what it is. This is 87. I'm not going with that old either. So we'll do 26. He's young, sprite dude. All right. And height. Yeah, speed of 30, I think. 30. Yep. And you just make up this as you would. Five foot ten. I'm going to go ahead and give him a weight of the elf. He's going to be kind of spry, so 130. Good generic number. All right. Bartle bus. That's something that's very humanish. We'll go ahead and give him a uh, elven name as well. Owen. Good D. There we go. Appearance. Rough side. Travel worn. Travel worn. Gray eyes and long flowing. Black hair, raven hair. Let's go with raven. That's always a great word. But not frail. And 
Angular features. And nubbed elven ears. Alright. I've got a character created. Go into my toggles. I don't necessarily have the toggles immediately available for everybody, but I can get the ones that come free with it, or I can buy the book. The book comes with all these for free. And see so it goes right on here. This guy looks a little bit brooding. This guy looks more angular. I like that guy. <coughs> so we have Bartlebus Elvind. Sorcerer level one. He's a hermit. Half elf. Has dark vision. All these rolls are easily made. You just if you want to roll a uh, dexterity roll, you just grab dexterity, roll it, and then chart. Pulls it up, adds it all together. You get in combat, you need to roll something for damage. Your weapons. He has a crossbow, a light crossbow. Roll it in there. 19. That's a good roll. That'll cause damage. Just drag it. You can actually just double click too. Spells. Same story. Firebolt. Attack range plus 6. Hits and then do 10 fire. Ba bam. He just caused a bunch of damage. Now when you get to uh, the point that you're doing combat, you want to go ahead and do a um, initiative check. You just grab the initiative dice. It gives a plus two. Ari figures it in. There we go. 21. You go before most things. So I calculated the speed. Calculated everything else in. And hit dice. You can either do it with the level as you go up or roll. And it'll figure it out for you. But that is it for character creation here. It's pretty easy to do. It takes just a few minutes. This is one more complex carrier. Characters being a um, a sorcerer, but you can find it pretty easy. Look up the spells as you go. Decide what you want to use. Um, and he is ready to rock and roll. If I chose to put him in the campaign. And you're ready to do your next level. So we've done with all that. All you do is go to your classes, figure out which class you're doing next, and then let's say you do another sorcerer. Just drag it in. It's another level. It adds in all the, font, all the things, and then all you gotta do is look at the chart to figure out what he would have for his spells. In this case, we'd have additional level three spell known. Um, or sorry, level uh, one spell known for the chart. And he still keeps the same amount of cantrips. Gain font of magic. That's an ability. So I added it in there so we don't have to worry about it, but story points it's for the sorcery points it goes into what exactly that does so that is it for the uh, in tutorial on how to create a character are there any questions let me know happy to respond um, as you can see it automatically generated its hit points for him because it goes off the average of what his hit points would be plus the um, deal unless you choose to do it yourself well, for more on it, just watch my channel at Twitch TV. We uh, play D&D &D every once in a while, and also um, also play a lot of different uh, types of games. I'm in Conan and all that sort of stuff. Always happy to hear from people, so please come by, say hi. If it helps you, tell me. If it doesn't, then uh, or you have improvements, feel free to recommend them. Thank you.